With the holiday spirit in full swing, we are going to be giving away a ton of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! prizes. Click the link in the description down below to get yourself entered to win. Enjoy the video. What is up everybody? It's your boy G-Ray right here from the Konami Crew. I'm back with you guys today with a brand new video. Now hopefully you guys follow the instructions in that intro and you guys get entered into the giveaway. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And uh, with that being said, guys, let's get into today's video. As you guys saw in the giveaway video, I picked up some Speed Duel Arena of the Lost Souls on Black Friday in hopes that I could somehow, you know, pull some better cards from my Speed Duel deck. A Sphere Creep goes in here. Uh, there's also some good traps. Uh, there's just a lot of good cards in this. This was the first Speed Duel booster set release so um, there's a lot of decent cards in this set so sphere creep is the main one that we're going for so basically if we could get one sphere creep maybe two that would be great um, but on our last speed duel video that we did i actually did really good i poured like four magicians a face so um hopefully we can do the same in this but everybody make sure to smack that like button to wish me good luck on this and uh, with that being said let's jump into this uh, let's just go we'll start here and just kind of work our way across there's a ton, there's actually some good um, skills in this as well. So pretty much anything I'll be happy with. We have Dragon Zombie, Common Charity, Veil of Darkness, and we, ooh, this is like the second best uh, card in this set. And we have King of the Skull Servants. Um, that's actually a really good pull. Let me go ahead and see this thing up. That's like probably the, like the second best card in this set. Um, uh, Mishizer, or, or whatever you call it, uh, the trap that when one of your monsters gets killed um you can target one of their monsters i think it's mizzer it's in in this uh set and it's also a really good card to pull so with that being said guys let's jump into the next pack we have a magical ghost amazon spy shield and sword Ooh, and we have a skull servant so i don't know maybe we'll get enough stuff we can we can build uh, skull servants or something i don't know um, Amazon is Spy is always a cool one to get as well. Alright. Man, I can't believe we pulled the King of... Oh, Jack Knight. The Jack Knight's the... Uh, the Jack Knight, Queen Knight, King Knight, they're all in here as well. Ooh, and my favorite card, Buster Blader. Clown Zombie and a Gravekeeper's Ambusher. Make sure I'm on screen here. Have you guys uh, picked up any speed duel stuff? I know a lot of people don't really mess with it, but I've, I've been trying to get into the whole speed duel thing, um, and uh, it's kind of tough to get into it when you know you got to buy separate sets to get it. But um, I actually, I've been actually been trying to build my speed duel deck sort of sealed, you know, just off a of sealed product. So uh, shout out to Nim Nim because we're going sealed only on this uh, speed duel deck. We have Great Mammoth of Goldfine. Block attack, Buster Blader, and another common cherry. Block attack's not bad either. Kind of comes in clutch sometimes. There's our Queen's Knight. Wasteland. Skull Servant again. And we have a Half Shut. Target one face up monster on the field. It cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Also, if its attack is halved until the end of this turn. Quick effect. Spell, it's always going to Dragon Zombie, Veil of Darkness, and a Common Charity. It looks like we got we pulled a great card on our first pack, and then we're not going to pull anything else. Maybe Let's get, there's another Queen's Knight, Wasteland, Skull Servant, and a Decayed Commander. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one zombie tiger from your hand. If this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, discard one random card from their hand. Pretty cool. Diffusion wave motion, limit impulse, possess dark soul, and we got our, our second holo, we have the king's knight. When this card is normal summon while you control Queen's Knight, you can special summon one Jack's Knight from your deck. Get to get kind of like an early combo, you know. 
since this is the first booster set, they didn't put a whole lot of like overpowered cards. They were trying to keep it definitely more balanced. They didn't put anything crazy in it, but let's put our hollows right here. So we have two supers so far, no ultras. But maybe we can. Ooh, we got a skill card finally. Common charity, possess Dark Soul, uh, clown, uh, clown zombie, excuse me, and we have Tombs of the Pharaoh. Uh, this card's name is always treated as Necrovalley. All great hero for monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense. So that's actually pretty good because the Gravekeepers are actually a pretty decent archetype once all of them get released. I don't know how many have been released in uh, Speed Duel, but uh, once they all get released, they'll actually be a pretty formidable deck to go against. Possess a Dark Soul Wasteland, another Buster Blader, and a Dragon Zombie. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Let's see. We gotta, we gotta go and sleeve our skill up, too. Boom. Tomb of the Pharaoh. We are down to about, what, like six, seven packs, something like that? The Snake Hair. Block Attack. Rabbit Horseman and another Decayed Commander. So at least we're getting some different stuff. Snake Hair and Rabbit Horseman we haven't pulled yet. So um, it's always cool that we're going to get new ones. We don't want to keep getting nothing but doubles. Especially the cards that we don't like. Just regular commons that we don't use. Mammoth of Goldfine. Block Attack. Buster Blader. And another Common Charity. So the Common Charity is pretty common. So this one's all bent up. Hopefully it ain't got a hollow in it. The Fusion Wave Motion, the Snake Air, Veil of Darkness, and we have our Meteor Black Dragon. Man, that's sick, but it'd be kind of hard to summon in Dual Links when it, or Dual Links and Speed Duel. Sick artwork, too. I think that he's actually only worth a couple bucks, and it's just because probably nobody wants him because, because it's so hard to summon. Boom. So we've got our total of three supers and a ultra rare skill great man with the goal find diffusion wave motion limited impulse and another half shut three packs left guys it's not looking the greatest for us for that spear creep well. if I could just get one it would make buying this worth it Jack's Knight Limit Impulse, Violet Crystal, and a Whiptail Crow. So we got some some different different stuff here. But we got a Jack's Knight, which is cool because I don't think we pulled one yet. So I think we got like two Queens, one King, and one Jack. Hopefully. We have the Wicked Breaking Flame Birch Bio. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one monster on the field. Equip this card to that target. It gains 500 attack, negate the effects of opponent's monsters. Roll by battle with the equipped monster. Conscription, Decay Commander, and a Dragon Zombie. So we've gotten over our place out of that, I believe. Last pack, guys. Can we end on all of them? I don't think so, but maybe if we're lucky, we'll end on something decent here. We have Magicians Unite. Skull Servant. White Elephant's Gift. Send one face up non effect monster control the graveyard. Draw two cards. Hmm. And we have a D spell. So, guys, we did not end on a hollow, but um, like I said, I got these for like $1.98 a piece. And we pulled, I mean, there's some stuff in here. I don't know if I'll end up trying to build um, Queen's Knights, King Knights, and everything. Um, or if all you mess with like uh, the uh, uh, king of the skull servants or anything, but uh, this is cool because I, you know, later on I might want to mess with gravekeepers and getting that's pretty cool. But um, there's our hollows, guys. Not the best, but you know what it is. It is what it is. And uh, guys, like I was saying earlier in the video, make sure to get entered into our giveaway. Um, it's going to run from now to December 20th. And uh, hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be able to get the winner. It's his or her prize out before Christmas morning. That's the goal. So hopefully, uh, we'll pick the winner 20th and we'll get it sent out and you guys will have it uh, for Christmas. So um, like I said, get into that, guys. Uh, we're going to be adding stuff to it later on. Uh, you know, 
as the uh, videos progress we'll be adding to that giveaway hopefully and we'll also have some more giveaways coming soon so make sure to stay tuned to the channel because you guys won't want to miss anything and uh, as always it is your boy T-Red from the Konami crew I love you guys I'm out